So welcome to the November Gigonometry Showcase and we're delighted to have had the pleasure of seeing Hawkline just perform. Lads, really amazing gig. We've Alec and Graham here. So Alec, how, did, how was it for you? It was really nice for me. Thank you. Um, Graham held me gently afterwards and whispered that it was very good as well. So I, my performance anxiety has kind of disappeared after that. So yeah, it was very good. You do actually seem very relaxed on stage. This is Graeme. And you two guys seem to be very well gelled together. Have you gone back a long time in the past? Does Hawkline revolve around you two as a core? How did yeah, it begin, no. Graeme? All our adult life, we've known each other for the past like five years. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe a bit more. Um, yeah, no, we've been playing together for it's like since we were kids. And I mean, it's a, it's kind of it's always chucked on like that, and it's it's funny you hear guys talking about music and there's a vibe there of like you know I met this guy because he's a drummer and I met this guy because he's a bass player. We met each other because we were kids who wanted to play music, and we're still those guys who want to play music, and that definitely has its ups and it has of course it's down. Yeah. Um, but. It, it, I mean, it, it's worked out for us really well. Like, I mean, recently, like, will we speak That's about it emotionally in the fun. interview? Still, don't yeah. Recently, we're we're we've this. been at a threesome since we were yeah. kids, um, with myself, Alec, and Chris. And uh, Chris has recently moved to the other side of the planet, so he's he's terribly missed. We miss you, Chris. Um, and yeah, and so this is kind of it's been a bit of a, a revolution, a bit of a, a change in in how we're doing things. Yeah. We've gone back. Back to our indie days a bit, where it's just two guitars, bass and drums. I mean, we're lucky enough to have uh, Dave Thompson come in on guitar, who's an excellent guitarist, and Ken Walsh on drums, who everyone knows is, is that like... second he's quite an incredible drummer he really is extraordinary he does rolls uh, that, that just are right because some drummers do rolls that just are too much but Ken has it just right so yourself uh, you two and Ken kind of go back together because obviously I've seen uh, you with Chris yeah. and that was a wonderful experience and now I've seen you twice with, with Dave and he's really adding something different to the band uh, Ken yeah Ken joined us when we when we dropped out of the looks and we took a few months off and then came back together and started writing songs again together and um, we went in we recorded our EP and everything and then we realized we didn't have a drummer so there was that and then we found Ken and luckily enough he's um, he's he's almost as nice as the rest of us and he's almost as easy to get on with as the rest of us um, but he's an ivory dealer so <laughs> we're going back to the ivory yeah, yeah. Yeah. ivory is the next thing folks forget about gold forget about silver forget about diamonds ivory is the thing right <laughs> Uh, no, 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 no. We're not supporting Ivory. <laughs> we are not, definitely not supporting Ivory. Um, so the sound is, I was saying to what I was introducing, is that your songs are actually quite beautiful, which is an interesting thing to say about it, essentially an indie rock, you know, kind of band. But they're beautiful songs, like Jeff Buckley is, would be described as indie rock. He writes beautiful songs. Where do you, your inspirations uh, come from? Well, you've just put us in the same sentence as Jeff Buckley, so I'm like, you know, that's dropped the mic, I'm out of here, like that job done, ticked. <laughs> I don't um, to Jeff Buckley, but oh man, what an album! Like everyone's had a great one. Anyway, uh, yeah, yeah. Our, our sound we definitely come from indie roots. Like I mean, that's that's where we started. That's where we came from. And um, then we we moved on as indie moved on and went with that whole post indie wave. I think there's, there's been a couple of anchors that have always kept us there. I mean, folds have to be mentioned, yeah, like the Strokes, Libertines, things like that. Um, yeah. Yeah. I, I, I like listening to you know the Shins, Death Cab. Uh, I, thought, I thought I heard the Shins in one of those songs there tonight. I was actually yeah, saying that to somebody. That's a sucker for a melody and a nice a nice vocal. So yeah. um, I can sort like you know there's four of us in a band and four when Chris was there as well and you know sure he'll come back. <laughs> he but um, yeah. you know so everybody has their own thing. But I, um, I always will try to steer it towards a song. Um, yeah. You know because when you're when you've got four pretty individual musicians coming together and doing something really cool um, it's handy to have a song so yeah you know um, and with a song like I mean even French music anything you know, you know anything like Joe Dessin's Champs-Élysées is my favourite song in the world and that isn't very cool 
Yeah, no, no, that's, like that's very cool. Everybody check that out. And, and come here, talking about checking stuff out, you've got a couple of beautiful songs on uh, YouTube as well, including one called Africa, which is quite different from the, the stuff you're doing now. I don't think it's still in the set, is it? Uh, no, we took it out of set um, for a couple of reasons. Um, the first one was, it was it was very sort of synth heavy. And um, to be honest with you, we were, Chris had only left a couple of weeks before our next gig, and we kind of, it just kind of fell by the wayside as something that we did we had yeah. a lot of time to fit into an error set yeah. so but that's a great thing to be able to say to have a nice back catalogue of stuff and be able to say that was us you know then the well, but here we are now uh, it's on our band camp that you think people if it is nice so if you want to buy it you just might not hear it live you might hear it live the next time I don't know yeah. Yeah. but you know it's right. different. The experience should always be different yeah. to what's on um, a record. So. Absolutely. And do go to Bandcamp, folks, because the stuff is great and support uh, original music. Yeah, great. I, I mean, like, putting it back to Africa, it's kind of a great uh, example of, like, of kind of where we've come from and where we're going. So, like, I love Africa as a track. I think it's I think it's really cool. And I think it's, it's it like, it is the, the mantelpiece piece of that whole post-indie wave that we, we were part of and we were really enjoying. And then we kind of took that backtrack of going like, right, we, we want to go back to that indie roots and we want to keep going as a live band because live was really the thing that drove us and kept us, it was the glue that kept us going. Like, so when we're in studio, we were always thinking, how does this react to an audience? How does this react to an audience? Africa is the only track in the set that we couldn't translate back to just guitars we need to address that and, and think about it from a, you know, maybe getting in a synth player or maybe put, putting in some sounds to, to replace things that were there. It was the only track that we couldn't do that on such short notice. Now, maybe maybe it will be a track that we come back to and yeah. can get it just on guitars, but I, I'd imagine it's one that we need to put back yeah. in that electronic element. Yeah. yeah, but like I say, good problem to have. And listen, I mean, the live stuff has really come together so well. You've done quite a big a bit of gigging recently. You're going to take a break from gigging for a while. What's the next plan in terms of recording or...? We're back in hopefully um, in the middle of December to do to demo the new EP okay. so yeah one of the reasons that we're not yeah, yeah. as focused again on playing Africa and getting Africa together is because we've been writing and doing yeah. other songs that yeah, yeah, kind yeah. of yeah. would replace it so yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so, you're, so you're pregnant with new babies basically yeah <laughs> waiting for the birth <laughs> yeah <Okay. laughs> and well, they said it couldn't happen Graham <laughs> <laughs> we proved them wrong we were having this conversation earlier, folks. Um, so yeah, EP coming up next, so we'll see something maybe in springtime or whatever. Yeah, springtime. Exactly, exactly. And yeah, like I mean, we put the catalogue that we have at the moment up online. I am, you know, and as Alex said, going back in the studio, we'll put the stuff that we have now down and um, and just take it from there. Great. Great. Well, it, it's been a wonderful performance tonight, and the new stuff I'm really itching to hear it on uh, on CD, on MP3, whatever. Hawkline, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, lads. Thank you very much. Cheers. Thanks. Appreciate it.